I'm John Early, I play Elliot Goss on Search Party, and we're gonna discuss my top 10 favorite moments from season one. A friend of mine went missing, and I'm gonna find her. <gasps> what? What does Chantal have to do with you? Let's put the pieces together, let's like, figure it out. We have to do this, this is our destiny. Number one, from episode one, I chose the job interview scene. I read all four pages of your personal statement, and honestly, you're not even equipped to teach tic-tac-toe. Alia says all these like, things you should never say in a job interview. It's just like, everybody can tell me what I can't do, but nobody can tell me what I can do. My clip from episode two, my favorite moment, is when we all get attacked by Rosie Perez. Who is this? Why is this man looking at my breast? I'm absolutely not looking at your breast. Sorry, this man is sick. He's the Prince of Darkness. You could tell by those black eyes. My eyes are as blue as the sea. So. There's cheese, you guys. <laughs> it was our very first day of shooting after the pilot. And Rosie was a dream, and to be choked by her was kind of my peak, both acting-wise and sexually. Number three, from episode three at the vigil, my favorite scene is obviously us watching the acapella group sing Since You've Been Gone. But since you've been gone, Shanta. Mm -mm. No, I actually can't hide it. That's not okay. That's insane. On, episode four, who cares? I'm not in it. My character's in Africa. I'm moving on. Just kidding, I love this episode. I chose the scene where Chantal's ex-boyfriend ruins the apartment as he's leaving. Gavin, calm down. That's all I have to say about this garbage episode that I'm not in. Number five. My favorite moment has to be when Dory and Keith start to really kind of flirt. Mystery deepens. It's kind of nice, actually. Hey, you should keep it. Oh. You can always give it back next time I see you. We're partners, right? Yeah. They're like starting to feel the exhilaration of like this pursuit they're on together. I love their chemistry, and this is the first time we see it kind of bubbling. Number six. This is from episode six, or what I like to call the episode where I got to work with Parker Posey. Parker Posey, Rosie Perez, Judy Gold, Christine Taylor. What's going on here? Did my third grade self write this entire series? Yes. My favorite moment is when Meredith talks about she likes to be girly, but she still is very serious about what she does, and people don't think she's smart, and people underestimate her. I just think that you don't have to be one kind of woman, and I think that like I should be able to get my nails painted and also be smart, and a lot of people don't really think I'm that smart, and I think that's frustrating, because I think I'm my own kind of smart. She is one of the greatest actresses we have, and if you don't give her, a career in well-written romantic comedies. I walk. <laughs> episode seven. Uh, this, of course, is a huge episode for my character. Okay. Um, this is when Julian figures out Elliot's secret. Uh, this was such a fun scene to do. I love playing those moments of like being caught in your tracks and just like completely shutting down when someone's found something out about you. Oh my gosh, I am still trying to wrap my head around the fact that you were bedridden with stage four lymphoma while playing the physically challenging lead role of Mac the Knife. Oh, because I was, I was 16. You are 16? Yeah, I was 16. Next oh my gosh. I always switch those the, two. Totally understand. Well, I love this scene. And I also had a raging sciatica. I had um, a back issue during season one, had surgery in between the two seasons. So the scene where I'm walking out of the bar very intensely, um, I that was supposed to be running. I couldn't run due to the pain, the constant chronic pain. <sighs> Number eight. My favorite scene would have to be when Portia gives Elliot a taste of his own medicine and makes up a story about her dad dying. My dad died of cancer. And he really loved me, like in a real crazy way. And now, I, he doesn't get to see me on TV. But we couldn't stop laughing. It was just, there was something about clicking into like the tiny like nuance, like the, like the sincerity of her being like, my dad died. And she was being so subtle and so quiet and serious, and it was absolutely impossible not to break. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine. My favorite scene has gotta be when 
Drew and Portia blackmail Baby Daddy, and there is just something so loosey-goosey about John Reynolds and Meredith Hagner in the scene. I wasn't there when they shot it, but I can tell they were probably dying laughing. Hey, we want $5,000! You think this is funny? You little prick! Yeah, you got 30 seconds, not 20, 30! Yeah, or um, what? 29. 28! Uh -oh. They're both in their like comedic sweet spots. I just think they're brilliant, and I love that the show goes to such crazy places. <laughs> My favorite scene in episode 10, and it should be yours too, is when the brilliant Claire McNulty as Chantal tells her story, and we all realize that we did this entire thing, including killing a man for no reason. I'm scared that someone is gonna come in and like clean or like sublet at any moment. So I'm like sleeping in the storage room upstairs. I'm like, oh God, I dyed my hair like this crazy color. I, I, I don't understand. I mean, there's more to it than that, obviously, but like, that's basically it. It's just the crux of the series and it is such an iconic ending to a season, and I really think it's like a perfect episode of television. Sorry. Who are you hiding from? Honestly, myself. What a blast I've had walking you through some of my favorite moments. You will notice that they did lean all towards me a little bit. Um, but that's, you know, that's, I'm inside this body. You know, I, I see the world through these eyes. And, um, of course, I'm gonna connect with the moments that I'm in. And again, you're yelling, you're being really hostile, and I feel like, I don't know, it says more about you than it does about me. <laughs> anyway, um, I've had a real blast, and again, I can't stress this enough, if you don't watch season one, you will be ridiculed at your jobs tomorrow, at your respective jobs. Watch season one, now. You can't watch season two without watching season one. Just watch it! Ha, love you guys. Search party. Watch on demand and the TBS app.